Hey, welcome back to Gridiron Live. Moving inside now, where we're joined by a special guest, former Benedictine cadet, former Georgia Bulldog. Former, I can't even name all the teams you played for in the NFL. It's a big list. It is a big list. Josh Mallard joins us here at Wild Wing Cafe. And Josh, first of all, it's the, the start of the NFL season. Do you? Does it bring back memories for you? Oh, of course. Um, I, I could just imagine how nervous some of these guys are, especially the young guys. But, um, you know, of course, you know, you watch these games, you get a little sad, but uh, I get to sit back at a place like this and uh, overdose on buffalo wings. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, you couldn't overdose on buffalo wings several years back when you were playing for so many different NFL teams. What's your fondest memory of playing in the league? Man, there's there's so many memories. Um, you know, you get, to, you get to sit down and have lunch with people like Peyton Manning, you know, stuff like that. You, I, to me, that was the that was the coolest thing to pick those guys' brains. And talk about it. Coming out of Benedictine, where you were an All-State player, you go to University of Georgia, have a great career there, and then to get drafted, go in the NFL. Uh, did you ever imagine your wildest dreams that you would have that kind of journey? You know, you know what? You always dream that, of course. But for it to actually happen, um, I think my parents were probably more excited than I was. But of course, I was excited, and it was a dream come true. And talk about it. Coming out of Benedictine, what did uh, what did the cadets, what did BC instill in you as you made the move to, to the next level? You know what? If I could go back to play any game. In my career, it would have been at BC. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, just being back here and being able to watch those games, that's like a dream come true for me. Exactly. Now, you still you, you played a little bit of arena football in the past couple of years. You, you moved back to Savannah, and there may be still some more few, uh, football in your future. What else are you doing? I have a business here, credit card processing. Um, a lot of my clients are here. So, uh, you know, I to, I, my business career started at 33. So um, just working on that is what I'm here for. We talk about the NFL season getting underway. Any early picks? You, you, you like anybody in particular? Don't necessarily with the spreads today, but looking for the season, you got any early? I had a chance to see Seattle. They looked pretty good the other night. You know, I, I just hope that the local teams win. I hate looking on my Facebook and seeing people complaining about the Falcons, the Bulldogs, uh, BC. If those three teams win, my life is going to be a lot happier. <laughs> Very good. And talk about the Falcons. Of course, uh, you played uh, spent some time up at the Georgia Dome. Uh, talk about your time with the Falcons. You know, Falcons was a great opportunity for me because uh, my parents are really close. Uh, all my friends got to come watch me play, and that's obviously when you when you make it to that level, that's what you want to have happen. Very good. I think Josh Mallard is going to be hanging out with us some more in future episodes, maybe in a, in a different little spin, but you'll have to stick around to see that here in the coming weeks. Josh Mallard, former BC cadet, former Georgia Bulldog, and NFL player as well. Josh, thanks so much for coming to hang out with us this Sunday morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, guys, plenty more. We're going to introduce you to this week's Enmark Player of the Week and the candidates for this week's winner. All that and much more coming up on Gridiron Live, live from Wild Wing Cafe. Stick around.